This is the Mach 1 Level 2 EV Charger from Apex Charger. The Mach 1 is a rapid Level 2 EV Charger boasting a 48 amp Garage Pro wall mounted design. This electric vehicle charging station features a Neum 1450 outlet and a J1772 car connector all included. Yes, this will even work for your Tesla. But one of my favorite features is the very long 30 foot charging cable and Apex Charger's lifetime 24 seven, seven days a week phone, email, and chat support. And all of this from a USA-based company. I did, however, find one thing that I'd like to see them fix on future models, but more on that later. I got to meet and actually communicate with some of the Apex Charger team, and I was really impressed with their long-term vision. This whole EV uh, charger project started about two years ago. I have a Tesla myself, and a few of the other people in the company have Teslas Nice EVs. I love it to death. It's like my baby. <laughs> I had my Tesla for three years, and I, I missed that car. <laughs> Unboxing and setup of the Mach 1 could not have been smoother, especially if you've got an existing NEMA 1450 outlet to plug it into. They include a template so you know exactly where to screw the holes in the wall for the bracket, which is going to mount the Mach 1 to the wall. There was very easy to understand installation instructions along with the entire part list. They really do provide you everything you need, including a Phillips screwdriver and a locking screwdriver here, which I'll talk about more in a little bit. The Mach 1 does support app control or RFID cards, which makes it really secure to only be able to access the charger with the RFID cards. But there's a J1772 adapter for your Tesla. They include the cable mounting bracket as well. And here is the unit itself. I found everything very well packaged and protected and that beefy 30 foot charging cable was very impressive. Overall, just the initial impression of this EV charger was really solid. I love that kind of black chrome look on the buttons itself. Well protected, insulated, sealed. Everything was done right on this plug. I also love that they include the cable management, hardware, and brackets. So you don't have to purchase that separately. It's all included. So you have a way to store your cable and it clips in and out very easily. Here's the main unit itself. It's small, compact, I love that. And there's easy access to their 24 seven support. Here are some of the specs. It is a max 48 amp plug-in or hardwired charger. And I'll talk more about the hardwired aspect here in a little bit. If you're going to be plugging it in, just make sure that you do place it where the plug will reach and also make sure that you have the mounting template up because the bracket itself has an up direction. I was able to use the screwdriver to mark the holes and then drill some pilot holes before anchoring it to the wall. And clearly I don't have enough holes in my wall already, so I'm gonna drill four more here for the drywall anchors. It is important that you use the anchors if you're not hitting a stud. These were easy to slip in, and then once I had that, I was able to use the screws and included in the kit to screw them into those drywall anchors, which with the four screws, it made it super secure on the wall. Then it was as easy as taking the Apex charger and lifting it up and it slotted right down onto that anchor. I was able to then plug it into the Neva 1450 outlet and voila, it turned right on. I do like the cool aesthetics of the Mach 1 and now I just need to figure out where I'm going to mount the cable holster. I'm going to go to the right. No, I'm going to go to the left. And I did find a stud that I was able to anchor this directly into because this is going to handle the majority of the weight of this EV charger. It's that cable, that 30 foot long, beautiful cable. I wanted to give it a good solid place to wrap it up. It was wound up pretty tight in the box. So I went ahead and unwound the whole thing and then went with bigger loops so that it would all fit. Now, if you're installing your Apex charger outdoors on the exterior of your house, office building, you're gonna wanna install these included security screws. These are anti-theft screws because they, they require a special driver to actually install them and remove them. These are included in the Apex charger kit so no worries they're going to go right here in the back side of your apex charger and this will prevent anybody from just slipping this charger off and running away with it i'm installing them even in my garage just because i don't want this to get bumped and accidentally uh slipped off here because i do a lot of construction in my garage as well so i'm going to go ahead and install them because it's just a nice security measure to make sure that this thing now can't get slipped off the wall easily all right i think i'm in business and ready to charge my audi e-tron i 
do like that there are a couple of buttons on the unit itself where you can change the amperage you can also change the delay so you can charge it on a delay if you just plug your car in you want it to delay uh, several hours to maybe some off-peak electrical hours if that's a thing for you so nice to have those features on the device itself most ev chargers that i've reviewed have required you to choose whether or not you want to have a plug-in version of the charger or you want to hardwire it with the mach 1 apex sit down a pretty cool thing here where they actually give you the instructions on how to convert your plugged ev charger into a hardwired one so you can start out with a plug later on you want to change to hardwired well they include all of the hardwire including heat shrink in order for you to safely remove the plug and convert it into a hardwired unit the mach 1 apex charger is also compatible with your tesla and so they've actually included the adapter this is a next gen tesla to j1772 adapter so that you can plug in the j1772 plug into this end and then plug this directly into your tesla and you'd be able to charge your tesla without any issues so I've been using the Mach 1 now for a few weeks and it works as promised. I mean, it just delivers a nice 48 amps of power directly to my Audi e-tron. I love that long 30 foot cable because even though the charger is in the back of my garage, I can pull it all the way to the front outside and plug it directly into my e-tron. And if you are mounting this outside because it is outdoor rated, you can use these RFID cards to make sure that you're the only ones using your power to charge your EV. By default the charging is activated by the RFID card but if you want a true plug and play without the RFID card you can simply hold up the RFID card wait for it to beep and then press and hold the delay button for about five seconds and it will change to plug and play by default in this mode as soon as you plug it into your EV it will start charging and I really want you to see how long this cable is because look at it, it's clear at the back of my garage going all the way out to the front, clear out to my driveway and I'm able to plug my EV in because I've got too many projects going on right now and including a brand new shed build that I'm converting into a home gym. So smash the subscribe button if you wanna see that build which I'm gonna be releasing here very shortly. When I'm done charging, it's really easy for me to wind up the charging cable and put it onto the included mount put it in the dock and it's good to go for the next time I'm using it. Now here's a look at what I used to have to do, which is pull my car extremely close because most EV chargers, the max cable they have is 25 feet, which just barely was not long enough to reach my e-tron. So I literally had to pull as close as I possibly could to the garage door and then stretch that cable as far as I could do. Not anymore, the Apex charger has really solved that for me because I've got a nice long 30 foot cable and it delivers that full 233 to 240 volts of 40 amp or 48 amp i can actually change it right here at the charger itself which is nice to be able to have those quick and easy features they do have a mobile app through the smart life app which you can get some additional settings and features and change parameters on and it works extremely well and the smart life app i use for other devices in my home already so it's nice to have it all built right into one app the included hardware, the cable mount, everything is very well made. I definitely give the Apex Charger Mach 1 an A+, Superman Shed approved. So the one thing that I'd like to see them change actually has to do with the Tesla adapter. There's, there's no place to store it. There's no place to put it. Uh, you can put it on the end, but then it doesn't go into the holster. So it's, it's kind of like, where do I put this? In the top of the apex charger mach 1 itself is slanted so there's just there's no clear place to set this to keep it by and with the charger oh wait maybe i could just balance it okay don't don't move 